Welcome! In this video I'm going to be comparing these two high endurance micro SD cards. So on the left here we have the Samsung uh, Pro Endurance and on the right we have the SanDisk High Endurance. So if you find this video helpful I'll put a link in the description to these two micro SD cards and if you use those links it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. The Samsung states that its life is up to 43,800 hours and the SanDisk is up to 10,000 hours. So in the tiny type on the back here, it says they both test these at 26 megabits per second video speed. The Samsung is UHS-1, the SanDisk is UHS-3. They both say they support 4K UHD, and they're both 128 gigabytes. So the Samsung states it has a 100 megabyte per second read speed and a 30 megabyte per second write speed, and the SanDisk is 100 megabytes per second read speed and 40 megabytes per second write speed. So the SanDisk is slightly faster on the write speed, according to this. The Samsung says it's waterproof, magnet proof, temperature proof, x-ray proof. I think these are two. I don't know if it says on here. Yeah, down here we have shock proof, temperature, waterproof. I'm guessing x-ray proof also. So just reading the packages here, you might think, well, why wouldn't I want the faster one? Well, either of these are fast enough for most applications for like surveillance, dash cam, body cam. Uh, they both will maintain those speeds. Faster is nice when you're downloading the video onto your computer though. Um, there is a di so I'm going to test that, but this one says 48,800 hours, this one says 10,000 hours. Um, so this one has four times more, so the, sl the theoretically slower card has four times more. Also the warranty on the slower card is five years, so this one's only two years. So I'm going to open these up and I'll do a couple different tests and then I'll put them in my Raspberry Pi 4 and we'll check them out in there. One thing to mention is that the SanDisk does have this Rescue Pro software you can download. It's a uh, free year of this. I think it says one year subscription of Rescue Pro. And I've had that with other SanDisk. I've never used it before. I haven't needed it yet. So if it wasn't obvious to you, these both come with adapters. So I'm going to be using this Transcend USB 3.0 card reader in my MacBook, and I'll put a link in the description of this also. So I was taking these out of the plastic to get them ready to plug into the computer, and one thing I want to point out is the Samsung seems way easier to unpackage than this. This has this kind of cellophane on the back side, and I had to use a knife to cut into it. I actually don't have it all the way out yet. But uh, if you had like, you know, 500 of these to uh, unpackage, then these would be a lot easier. I don't know if they sell them in bulk, but um, this is kind of a pain in the butt. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is format these, do a clean format, so I'll plug it in. I'm going to use the SD card formatter. I'm just going to do the quick format. Okay, I'll rename this one to Samsung. Now I'll do the same to the other card. Next I'm going to use Blackmagic Speed Test. So I've reinserted the Samsung, I'll start with that. I'll click in here to choose my target. I'll choose the Samsung Drive, I'll hit open, and then I'll start the test. So we got about 33 megabytes per second write speed and then 90 megabytes per second read speed. And on the packaging it said 100 megabytes per second read and 30 megabytes per second write. So the write speed was slightly faster than what the package said and the read speed was about 10% less than what the package said. So I'm not using like a calibrated whatever system. I just have this plugged into my MacBook. So I didn't expect to get the exact same thing that was written on the package. This video is mostly to actually compare the two cards, so we'll see what the results are between the two. So I'll close this out, I'll eject this card, and install the SanDisk card. Okay, so we're seeing significantly faster write speeds here. We're getting 82 megabytes per second, and the card said it was supposed to have 40. And then read speeds is 90 megabytes per second, which is 10 less than the card said. So these two cards have about the same read speed and the write speed significantly faster on the SanDisk than it is on the Samsung. So I expect my card reader may be maxing out at 90 megabytes per second. 
So between these two cards, if I was just to stop the test here, I would say the Samsung might be the better card for surveillance um, cameras, you know, body cams, dash cams, things like that, because it supposedly has a greater write endurance because it, you know, has a life up to 43,800 hours. And if you're using it in something like a Raspberry Pi or a small computer or a phone, then the SanDisk might be the better option because it has faster performance. It doesn't have quite as many uh, cycles on it, but it still is a lot. So there's a trade-off you have there. And you can check the current prices down below uh, using my links to Amazon, but when I bought them, the SanDisk was about $5 more than the Samsung. Okay, so I'm going to close out of this. I'll eject the SanDisk. So next I'm going to insert the Samsung card in. I'll open up the Raspberry Pi Imager. I'll choose the OS. I have it downloaded to my computer. This has an SSD in it. So the internal hard drive should not be a bottleneck in this system. I'll choose the SD card and then I'll hit write and we'll time it and then I'll time it with the SanDisk. Okay, so that finished at about six minutes, 24 seconds. So I'll hit continue, I'll remove this, and I'll do the same with the SanDisk card. Okay, yeah, I'll choose the OS. I'll choose the card reader. I'll hit write. Okay, so that finished at about four minutes, 37 seconds. So that was significantly faster than the Samsung card. So I'll remove this now. So now I'm going to plug these into my Raspberry Pi 4, four gigabyte model, and we'll do some tests on there. Okay, so I booted the Raspberry Pi with the Samsung micro SD card in it, and I used my phone stopwatch, and it took about a minute and 45 seconds to do the first boot. So that had to resize the disk and things like that. So now I'll shut this down, I'll swap it out, and try it with the sand disk. Okay, so that took about a minute and 36 seconds, so that was about 11 seconds faster. So not a huge uh, difference between the two cards there. So now I'm going to go back to the Samsung card, and I'm going to do a benchmark on the Raspberry Pi. So that was about 22 seconds that time, so that was quite a bit faster. So I'm going to open up a terminal. I'll type sudo space app space update. Now I'll type sudo space app space install space agnostics. So now I'll run agnostics. So this opens up the Raspberry Pi diagnostics and it has an SD card speed test. So it says it determines whether the SD card can read and write fast enough to provide adequate performance. It should be run on a new or newly formatted SD card, which is what we have. So I'll go over here and I'll say run tests. Okay, so it says it passed. I can hit show log here, and this will give us some more information. You go down to sequential write speed, we're at 38,168 kilobits per second. The target is 10,000. And then the random write speed IOPS is 847, the target is 500, and the random read speed is 2589, and the target is 1500. So now I'll do the same thing on the SanDisk card. So this took about 23 seconds to boot up. So that was about a second more than the last card, but I'm just doing this with my phone, so I, it might be the same for all I know. Okay, we have it up on the SanDisk card now. I'll hit Run Tests. So it passed, I'll hit Show Log. So here we have the sequential write speed is 33,851, and on the Samsung card it was 38,168. So the Samsung card was actually faster. The random write speed is 867, and on the Samsung it was 847. So this has a little bit higher on the random write speed. The random read speed is 1760 and on the Samsung it was 2589. So interestingly, the Samsung seemed to have better performance on the Raspberry Pi than the SanDisk. So for the final test, I'm going to go back into the Samsung. I'm going to write and read a file to the SD card and I'll do it on the SanDisk and I'll compare the performance of that. Okay, I'm booted up on the Samsung again. I'll open up a terminal. I'm going to write some zeros to the drive. So I want to type time space dd space if 
equals forward slash dev forward slash zero space of equals temp dot txt space bs equals one m space count equals 1024 space o flag equals direct. I'll hit enter. Okay, so this copied at 30 megabytes per second. So now I'm going to go up and modify this and change the in file to temp. I'll change the out file to dev null. And I'll change the o flag to i flag. So this will read the file and output it to dev null. And here we got 40 megabytes per second read speed. So I'll shut down and I'll put the SanDisk card in and do the same thing. Okay, so I have the SanDisk in. So we got 30 megabytes per second there. And for the next test, we got 40 megabytes per second. So what I think this is telling me is that both these cards um, exceed the Raspberry Pi 4's interface uh, because they're coming up to the same number more or less. So I think either of these cards would make a good card to use in your Raspberry Pi. The Samsung has a higher lifetime, but I think that's a bigger issue if you're using it in a surveillance camera. I think on a Raspberry Pi, you're not going to be reading and writing to it that much unless you're using it for certain applications. I take regular micro SD cards all the time and I rewrite images to them and they still work. So these should last a lot longer than those. If you're looking for something, say for a GoPro, uh, the SanDisk might be better because it's a little bit faster in a computer. But strictly talking about Raspberry Pi, I think either of these are fine. I actually like having different brand SD cards sometimes because I'll be working on different projects and I'll remember that the Samsung 128 is say a retro Pi project and the SanDisk 128 is uh, some kind of motion detection project I'm working on. So I have all sorts of different makes and models of micro SD cards. I have some of that are the same and it's hard for me to sometimes keep a track of what they do. So again, I'll put these in the description and your purchases help me out a little bit. If you have any questions about these, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.